This video is to show you how to attach a zip tie mod to your AR drone 2.0 or 1.0. First thing you want to do is cut your large zip ties to about 9 and 3 quarters inches in length. Make sure they're all exactly the same. You could do between 9 and a half to 10 inches. Uh, 9 and 3 quarters is my preference. Uh, next step, um, fasten your zip that we just cut to the foot. Uh, just loosely fasten it for now and the next step we'll fully tighten it. Uh, make sure that they're all tied on there in the same direction. If you do one backwards you'll have to cut it off and start over with that one. Um, doesn't matter which direction they are, just make sure they're all exactly the same. Uh, here's the other two feet, but just from a different angle. Loosely fasten it. And now tighten on the side of the foot because it's actually thinner there. It uh, gets wider on the foot towards the center. So on the side, tighten it fully and then slide it towards the center of the foot. That way it'll be as tight as possible. It'll stay in place. So tighten on the side fully, slide to the center. Next step, uh, just take the other end of that zip tie and shove it about a half inch into the body of your drone. Right there in the sticker, there's a, kind of a crack. Don't worry, you're not going to damage any internal parts or the styrofoam. You're just kind of sliding that crack about a half inch. And you're starting to see now how it's going to look when you're finished, how it's going to absorb some of the crash. These zip ties, by the way, are especially soft. Um, if you've got ones that are too stiff or strong, it's still going to damage your central cross on a crash. Um, if you need one of these zip ties or any upgrade toolkits, uh, replacement parts, there's a link below to my store where you can get most parts about 30% off. Um, now just go ahead and you may have to push some of these in a little bit further to make sure they're exactly the same, but make sure it's level. This is just a leveler app on my iPod. Uh, it's actually just barely off center there, you can see. So make sure it's exactly the same by pushing in further to the body. Next, take your small zip ties and fasten it as uh, tight as it'll go this time to your leg. And uh, this whole model add about 9 grams to your 400 gram drone at about 500 grams. You can't fly anymore. It's too heavy. Um, so if you peel off the stickers of your indoor and outdoor holes, actually those are about 20 grams a piece. And uh, with these zip ties, you'll come in underweight and you'll get more battery life and a zippier flight. Uh, now cut the excess. Off of each of your small zip ties. Next step, uh, take some of your general re repair tape. I also have this in my store. In the description, there's a link. Uh, get about four or six inches each. And uh, just put that on there. To, it'll both uh, keep your large zip from moving and that small zip. Uh, wrap it around about three times to cut the excess. You don't need any more than that. Keep this thing as light as possible. And this zip tie is uh, really a much better alternative to one of the, uh, what they call them, bumper shafts. No, uh, bumper, uh, gear bumpers. They're, uh, they interfere with your wind resistance and your, the cooling of your motors during flight. 
This will protect the entire underside of your drone, not just the gears, and it won't affect wind resistance or cooling. Okay, make sure it's level again. Then you're ready to fly. It's give you about an extra inch and a half. And uh, yeah, here's some flight videos so you can see what it looks like in a crash or just a typical landing. If you found this helpful, uh, subscribe to my channel or check out my store. I'll have a new video up each week to show you uh, how to do different mods and repairs.